In this video, we will add a PGM controller to our project. And this controller is going to control the extent of the cobalt reaction based on a simple linear function of the autoclave temperature. So the first thing we have to do is add a general controller to the project. So we'll go to insert a unit. And in our control section, it's a general controller. So I'm going to just place it here near the top of our project. If I right click on the general controller, I get the access window and the first thing I'll do is change the tag and call this plant control. So it's now called the plant controller. If I now click on the edit PGM button, it will open up a text file with the same name as the unit. So this is called plantcontroller.pgm. And I'm using Notepad++ as my text editor, which I can strongly recommend that you use too. The equation that we are going to use is our cobalt extent is equal to 90 plus 0 0.012 times the autoclave temperature in Kelvin. So we'll have two variables that we have to declare before we use that reaction. Declare them both as real numbers. So if I type in the word real, that's a key word and Syscade recognizes it. So the first one will be the autoclave temperature. T, a new line, and I'll declare cobalt extent. And when you declare your variables, you can't have spaces in the names of the variables. They're not, however, case sensitive, so you can have upper or lower case, and syscad will not differentiate between the two. So the first thing I have to do is the autoclave temperature. I have to go and measure that within syscad. So I type in autoclave t is equal to, and how do I get a tag out of syscad? It's very simple. We use square brackets and quotation marks. And then if I go into syscad, and I'll right click on the slurry line coming out of the autoclave and measure the temperature, copy the full tag, and paste that into the PGM. And now we use that temperature to calculate the cobalt extent of reaction. It's equal to 90. Now the autoclave temperature should be in Kelvin, so I have to add 273.15 to that before I multiply it. So we've now calculated the cobalt extent, and now I have to go and set that value into the extent field in the reaction block. How do I do that? Very similar to how I went and fetched a tag. So we have square brackets and quotation marks. If we go into syscad, right click on the autoclave, go to the R1 page and here's my cobalt reaction extent so it's this white field right click on that copy the full tag back into the PGM and I paste that in here so the reaction extent is now going to be equal to this value that I've calculated copy and paste and so it, every time there's a step it'll calculate the cobalt extent and put it into that field I'll save that back into syscad if I right click on this I have no errors so it's loaded that up that plant controller.pgm and now if I run syscad and go ahead and have a look at the autoclave you'll see this is now a yellow field there's a little triangle here telling us that it's been set by a controller and that will be the plant controller in our next video we'll have a look at how we can add some visibility to the plant controller